Let's dive a little bit more into the differences between use state and use reducer. If we go use state here, and then we do const count set state equals use state and initialize this to five and comment out this dispatch here. And let's go ahead and copy this line and we will say set state and take in the previous and return the previous plus one and comment this out here and wrap this in an arrow function we see our counter works but let's say we want to take this out and name it so we can use it in more than one place so we'll say increment and we can comment this out too. And let's say function increment. And increment is going to actually just call set state for us and increment the value. And we see that works. But let's see what's going on here. If we say let last, and then down here we say last equals increment. And before that, we console.log increment last, and whether last is equal to increment, we see false. This means that every time we render the app component, it's coming in here and creating a new increment callback and reassigning it. So therefore the last increment is not equal to the current increment. That's gonna force the children components in this tree to render every time the increment value changes if we're passing it as a prop to one of those components. So to remedy this, you can do const increment equals use callback and pass your callback in there and And we need to bring in use callback. You're going to see that it does change still. And the reason that is is because we haven't told React what, what this callback depends on. If you're referring to any props in the callback, you need to generate a new callback. So if we pass an empty array here, we're saying this callback does not ever need to be regenerated because it doesn't depend on any props. If you pass nothing here, that's going to say regenerate the callback every time app renders. We don't want to generate a new callback, so we need to pass an array saying this callback depends on no props. And so now we see true. We're getting the same value for increment every time app renders. So this would avoid ch children components from re-rendering wasting performance. Now if we comment this out and go back to the reducer, And let's actually change increment to dispatch and comment this out and bring this back. And change this to dispatch and change this to dispatch. We will see true. So dispatch does not suffer from the same problem as creating a callback where you need to wrap it and use callback. So that is why they say use reducer is better for performance because you just get a dispatch method that doesn't change and then you can pass that down the tree without having to wrap all of your callbacks and use callback. And then you can define your callbacks up here in the reducer and not have to worry about the references to them changing. So in general, reducers are going to be better than set state if you are doing complex logic or passing dispatch down the tree.